Welcome back to episode four in my series on creating expressive live performance effects chains. In this video, we're gonna take the TR8 and a classic 909 sound, and we're gonna route it through the razor blade and some very standard Ableton effects and make them really sing through clever mapping to different parameters in those effects. It's gonna end up sounding something like this. So the way we do this is with just a couple simple effects that you're already using in your arsenal. It's simply a matter of how you map a single knob to different parameters inside of that effect. Ableton's got a really great and simple bit crusher. And the bit crusher is gonna take these rides, compress them a little bit, and give them a gritty character that I personally like. What would be interesting is if as we increase the decay of the ride, we swept through the range or the frequency of this bit crusher. It sounds something like this. So what I want to do is kind of find the sweet spot, which I would say is right about there, up to there, and map this knob to that range. So we'll hit Control M, click on frequency, and go ahead and map it to that range, right about 1.7K all the way up to 18K. See how that sounds. So we've got some nice stuff in there. Now, what would be really interesting though is if we can make these rides sing a little bit with a delay and only kick the delay in as we throw up the decay so it makes it more of an instrument that I can play. That's really simple to do. Let's go ahead and grab this delay right here and stick it after the bit crusher. And what we we'll wanna do is increase the feedback and the volume all with the same knob and we're gonna map one knob to five parameters. So we'll map this to feedback, feedback, volume, volume, and feedback. Let's see what that sounds like. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and go through and find the sweet spot. That I like, and I like that. So even with that, I'm really enjoying it. The only other thing you might add, which I added in my chain over here that I created a little bit earlier, is finally some EQ to take out some of those harsh frequencies and maybe even a little reverb as well. My final chain sounded something like this and I found to be extremely expressive. Once again, all these parameters you can customize. You can customize the width of the bit crusher, what frequency you wanna focus in on. Maybe you wanna resonate your rides a little bit. Maybe you want the delay to be shorter. You can make all this yours and yours alone, and these techniques are gonna make your rides really individualistic and very special to your productions. This is video four of a four-part series. Watch the explanation video here or the other segments as they're published. The grand finale will be live performance using all these elements together on my Facebook page, so make sure you follow me there.